Okay, today I thought I would show you a firmware update banks did on their iDash, which I think completely changes this pro product. Okay, so you'll see in a sec, we are version 1.16. That's the newest firmware they have. And as you can see, we actually can now adjust all our colors again which makes us a much better looking product. And, um, you know, I've currently got data logging set to turn on automatically, a wonderful feature. Um, monitoring some of the things that I don't have, the Haltech ECU data logging constantly. Yeah, a few alerts set up and that, so. I might try to show you the logging, then using that feature to kind of determine a few issues, like uh, fuel temperatures, one that well, right now we haven't even run anywhere, that's why it's up at 85, but it slowly climbs up as you drive, so I got some heat soaking going on in the fuel log there. I'm trying to call it a fuel log, this is fuel injection, but fuel rail. And, uh, yeah, ex monitor exhaust temperature. This is the default screen I normally have this on. And... Now, like I said, one of the big things is the fact they corrected the color issues. And if you're not aware of that, uh, I have a previous video where I kind of showed a whole bunch of color options and why it was so problematic for their firmware up until uh, 1.15. And that's when they uh, allow you to change the backgrounds. So with that, though, they also added different pages to this, which I believe is this one. Okay, so... I think there's five pages now. Uh, these are all set up kind of a random color background. I haven't set up a lot of these uh, for any particular purpose, but I could see myself having uh, a page set up if I'm trying to drag race or um, you know maybe trying to get a particular cooling problem resolved. Uh, may set that up to capture specific data, but. Nice part with that, so that's just a eight layout. Yeah, so you can see there's lots of color combos now, which is huge. This allows you to make this fit into so many more vehicles. But you get the idea, is there's far more options now, and this actually makes it a, a excellent product for its price range. Uh, even would consider this in, say, like the newer Audi, just to monitor certain data points its computers won't show me. And, yeah, it's uh, worth considering, especially if you're trying to data log information where you can put this at standard gauge pod. You can mount it, suction cup mount to the windshield if you're just trying to resolve a problem or capture certain data. But the big thing is, to me, is... Is able to make this match the car I'm in and captured it. Now, since I've been using this a little more, you know, I have pulled the data log card out a few times to take a look at, but the min max log is probably something else to show you. This here is probably what I use the m most. So, you can see duty cycle on the wastegate. I've no, really don't have to cycle that too much. Fuel temperature, and that's getting pretty high. So I guess back on that, I'd added a flex fuel sensor. So yeah, I could run EE85 on this Turbo Slant 6, but not really available around here, so I haven't gone that far. I use it to know if it's a premium or regular fuel. And not that I adjust it a whole lot, but at least it knows. And then... Uh, that with that it gave me a fuel temperature on the return line so yeah definitely a heat soaking fuel log there as you can see sorry still not a fuel log fuel rail kind of dating myself there so yeah injector duty cycle so you know we're capturing that the max i've used is about half the injector i have the boost set only at I think 12 PSI for all the data that's in here so part of where we haven't maxed that out um, 
manifold air temperature so that's uh, thermal couple right underneath the throttle body you can see being a slant six that intake gets pretty hot and that's even with a uh, secondary coolant running through it battery voltage of course that's going to fluctuate so yeah you can actually record a max exhaust gas temp this has been very handy obviously max air fuel ratio is just kind of silly just like right now it's maxed out because it hasn't run so it's detecting fresh air it's but it's captured oil temperature you can see the oil temp does get up there a little bit I might have to consider putting an oil cooler back in and yeah you can see I have it like I said I told you I had it set at 12 psi and we're getting a max of 13 coolant temp so max I hit is 202 yes I run really high oil pressure So kinky voltage, huh? I do not know what I'm looking at there. All right, but not the point. Yeah, just kind of a quick update of this firmware update that uh, definitely improves us. So you can set your background now label stuff uh, your text color so you can totally change around how this looks now so thank you banks and nice product and thanks for watching